Hello everyone, it's K-Star Moon Life After. And this message is going to be for Gemini. Okay, we're in a full moon in Gemini. Um, okay. So Gemini, we're going to see what message um, the universe has for you. And remember, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. And if it resonates, stick and stay and listen to what the divine has for you. And this message is not going to be for every Gemini because everyone's life is different, okay? And energy is fluid, so this could be for you or it could be for your other. Okay, but what we're going to start off, we're going to start off with the Oracle deck. The Psychic tar um, Tarot from for the Heart Oracle deck. I'm going to pull a couple of cards from there. Um, Gemini, and then from there, we're going to follow it up with a short little quick tarot reading. Okay, so let's see what the energy has for you. I have already shuffled the cards. Okay, and depending on what cards I pull, um, if the spirit tells me to read exactly what the card represents, I would do that just so you can get a better understanding. Okay, so uh, first card is the third eye chakra so some of you gemini right now i'm really feeling like um some of you are really confused in which way you should go in life with certain decisions i'm hearing like um you're just tired of the same old same old you know you needed a change but what should i do the third eye chakra once you start you need to meditate for one I'm hearing like to come out of that hermit mode. Some of you may have possibly been isolating yourself from others, just like not wanting to go out, not want, not wanting to deal. But you know, life is flow and flow is life. So you have to have that interaction and interchange. But I'm hearing that a lot of you just isolated yourself because of just not trusting people, maybe some past hurt or whatever. But you know, once you once you open up this chakra, this third eye, and I think this is the one I'm gonna read. You will learn to trust your intuition and your judgment because you're going to see things. And I'm going to tell you, once you start meditating and really get in touch with oneself, just keep things to yourself. Certain things can't under Some people can't understand what it is that you see because they're not meant to see. It's only meant for your eyes only once you decide to crack this open, okay, and get yourself in alignment. So that's what I'm hearing. Okay, now we're having joint stability very good because see, listen, with this with this third eye chakra, you're gonna be able to see, you're gonna open up to a whole it's like it's like you coming from behind the curtain, Gemini. You're gonna be coming through like stepping into this new new light. Your light is gonna shine brighter. I'm when I look at this, I I feel like your spirit is gonna be brighter, your skin, your look, everything. Like you're just gonna have like this great aura around you. It's sort of like if I can give an example, it's like some of you was in this mode of, okay, it's basically like an example of a car sitting. When a car sit too long, what, what happens? The battery just died, right? The battery just died. So what happens? You have to go and get a battery to jump start that car to get it moving again. And it's like basically the same scenario. Some of you need a jump start in life. You need to recharge, okay? Meditation, yoga, eating healthier, um, going for a walk, becoming one with nature, being open up to love, um, meeting new people, just get out of the house and just really flow with life. But this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a rejuvenation here with you. Okay. Let me see what else. Yep. There you go. There you go. Love abounds. I mean, look at this. And that, and it's an eye there. Okay. Look at this. Love abounds. Some of you, when you open this up, I mean, I mean, just this is beautiful. When you open yourself up, you're going to be open to many things, things that you love to do, possibly finding a new love. Because some of you who have been hurt in the past and you just feel, really feel like, like, what's the use? And with this meditation, you can manifest what exactly what it is that you want in a mate. Because some of you are feeling like when it comes down with love, like you're picking up the same energy. Like, you know, you, you, you just feel like it's all lost of hope when it comes down to having a significant other. But it's not true. It's your thought process, how you manifest. Okay, if you know that you keep picking up these same type of people, maybe it's the environment that you're picking them up in. Maybe that person who, who you think is your type obviously is not your type because 
that type isn't working for you. So they may be a little shorter. They may be a little fatter. They may be not as more of attract uh, as attractive, but open yourself up with this third eye chakra. It is saying open yourself up, Gemini. Okay? So you can receive what the universe is giving you. Oh, and look at that. Success and growth. This is beautiful. This is beautiful, Gemini. Success and growth. And once you open up that third eye, you're going to be able to master things of the heart. Look at that aura. Look, I mean, it's like you're just shining. Look at that. I'm hearing Beyonce shining, shining, sh shining. Uh, no, I can't sing. But it's like you're going to be the master, the magician. That's, that's basically what this is. Look at that. And like I said, look at the aura. You're going to be shining so bright. This is beautiful. Let me see what else we have here. And teach. Some of you now, even with this third eye chakra, some of you could possibly be getting into um, your calling. could be mentoring. It could be spirituality. You may be going back to school. You know, this love of bounds thing is like taking a leap of faith and, and a bound on what is it that you love to do, what you would love to have and master it and draw it into your life. Because according to this, your success and growth is, is, is going to happen. This is beautiful. Yep, yeah, manifest. That's what I was saying before. With this third eye chakra, you need to manifest. Manifest whatever it is. Take out all negative thought of your life right now. Start speaking life into yourself and focus. Don't focus on what you don't have. Focus on what you want. Be grateful of what you have. Tell the universe what you want and watch and see what happens. Exactly. That new vitality. This is just what I'm talking about. You're going to be so full of colors. Everything's all, all in alignment. People are going to be like, oh my God, Gemini has changed. I'm telling you. New vitality in the way you look, the way you dress, the way you move, the way you speak. Your skin. I'm, I'm hearing like some of your skin is going to glow. Some of you probably probably are going to school to be an esthetician too. Skincare. Okay. And release. So at the end, I mean, this is beautiful. So release. Release that does not serve you. What does not serve you, Gemini. So all of this stuff can come into play. Okay. When you open up that third eye, you'll be able to release what not serves you. Okay. Let's go and let's see what else the universe has to say. We're done with that. Holy Spirit. So for me, um, I'm going to move these. For me, Gemini, that's basically like, like, you know, like a career thing, movement, whatever you were thinking about ever doing, you know, and a little bit of love too, okay? Meditate. You need to meditate and focus, okay? Holy Spirit, what other message you have here for Gemini? for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And in this, you know, in this full moon in Gemini too, it's all about detoxing and releasing what you don't want, those thought processes, because think about it. Well, once you really sit down and think about it, Gemini, has any native thought served you this year? Okay? Has any native thought served you this year? Usually they don't. They just make you more anxious, paranoid, and terrified. And that's an illusion. Because you know what? Everyone has a has the power to change their situation. It may not be quick. It may not be at the pace that you want. But everyone has the power to change their situation. Okay? cards two more times. Let's see what the universe has to say with the tarot deck, okay? Let's see what it has to say. I'm not gonna say it say it. I'm not gonna say it's about love. I'm not gonna say it's about career. I'm just gonna read whatever I see. Okay. Four of Pentacles. 
Now, when I see this, the Four of Pentacles, I am feeling like some of you are holding on to a lot of past hurt. Some of you are holding on to the thought of the lack of. Some of you are holding on to things that do not serve you. Toxic relationships. Toxic jobs. Just toxicity. You're holding on to this. Some of you, even when it comes down to money, some of you are trying to save, okay? But some of you, like I said, have the mindset of the lack of, okay? So what did it say in your oracle reading that you need to open up the third eye and at the end it said to release? There's never a lack of anything, okay? There's never a lack, okay? The three of pentacles here in the reverse. So, okay, so some of you, I feel like you are in a situation to where either you're trying to hold on to someone or someone is trying to hold on to you. Um, This person may not want to let you go because... It's the need in you, but not basically the want that, that they want. Or it could be the vice versa with you. Like, like, no, I honestly feel you just really would release this person, to be honest with you. When I look at this Gemini. Someone that you may want to release. I'm, I'm hearing like, you know what? I really don't want to deal with this individual anymore. I really don't want to be partnership with this individual. This could be a friend as well. But this person here could possibly be trying to hold on to you, Gemini. And you're trying to find ways to get out of it. Let me see. Holy Spirit, what other message do we have here for Gemini? Here we have for Gemini. Sun, moon, and rising. Gemini, I'm hearing too that somebody don't want you to be friends with somebody. Knight of Swords here in reverse. Somebody don't want you in the Knight of Wands. So I'm, I'm also hearing somebody do not want you to be friends with somebody. Somebody is very possessive of you. Then you have the Knight of Wands here and the Knight of the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Swords here in reverse, and the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is a traveler. Someone that hmm. I'm hearing that someone here is like basically trying to come towards you. But it's something about that individual that makes you feel a little off. And I'm wondering if it's this so-called friend here as well. It's just something about this individual is kind of off. Some of you could possibly have two suitors that are after you as well. One of them is actually, with this Knight of Wands, this is a person who travels a lot. And then you have the other one here with the Knight of Swords in reverse. This person sends, like, I feel like mixed signals. But notice, there's no such thing as mixed signals. It's either they want you or they don't. Let me see. Or you don't want them. But I think if, 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 if you, Gemini, are juggling two people or your other person, I feel like they're going to clash and meet. Look at that. I feel like they're going to clash and meet. Some kind of way, they're going to clash and meet. Holy Spirit, could you please clarify this Knight of Swords in reverse and this Knight of Wands? Okay, whoever these two people are, or this individual, they really think you the shit, Gemini. Or you're thinking someone else is the shit. It's two people here. Can you please clarify the six of wands here?
think this kind of go back to where it was saying love abounds and you open up yourself up and, and you have suitors here. You have options, I feel, Gemini. Okay, so it's like all eyes on you, but you need to be careful with this Knight of Swords and this Knight of Wands. Because Knight of Wands can be playboy energy. Okay, a person who comes in and out or a person who just rush right in. This person moves around a lot. Not saying that they're not going to give you that attention. They more than likely is, but you have to or are. But you just have to be careful with that person. But this Knight of Swords in reverse gives me the energy of they're here one moment, but then they send mixed signals, okay? But for the most part, these suitors really look at you as the Six of Wands, okay? So I'm just going to say just play your cards well on Gemini with that. Yeah, because I'm, I'm going to tell you something. You're going to find out something with this Gemini. You got the moon card in reverse. Something is going to be um, revealed to you. The two of pentacles. Somebody could be juggling you or you could be juggling somebody else. Yeah. And then you're just going to be like, cut with the damn bullshit. I don't need this. It's going to be exposed. Yep, and then the change is going to happen. You have the tower card here. So somebody you're going to give the axe to, yep, with the Capricorn, the Capricorn here. Somebody, I'm, I'm telling you, you're going to give the axe to somebody here. So out of these suitors, someone is going to be released. But I'm going to tell you, these people, Gemini, they're giving me like they're going to have an addictive energy to you. And like they're going to be addicted to you. This friendship here. Chariot. Could be dealing with a cancer. The seven of swords. Yes. Yes. You're going to move away from someone. This person, whoever this... I'm telling you. You're going to have it... I mean, Gemini, you got it going on so much so to where people are going to want to be tied to you. You need to be real careful on who you entertain. Because people going to... Okay, remember when I was telling you, even in your oracle reading... When it was saying about the third eye and everything. Okay, so basically what's going on here, Gemini, is that you're going to progress well. And you're going to get out of the mind frame of not thinking that, you know, like that, that, that you don't have. Okay? You're going to get out of that mind frame. When people start seeing this on Gemini, they're going to really have an addictive... You, you're going to be so attractive. The way you move... Just your whole swag is going to change that confident le level. People are going to want to possess you and hold you. They, they, they're not going to, you're moving. Uh, people are going to want to sabotage, like, they're going to be addicted to you. This is with friendship and with love. So if you wasn't really getting any play right now, you're going to be getting play. You're going to be getting much play. Okay? People are going to be so addicted to you. The question is, Gemini, can you handle the success? Because it's going to happen. Let's see what else. What other message? And then I'm going to wrap this up. Yep. You want to know why they're going to be addicted to you? Because they are going to feel incomplete without your energy around. That's what it is. Yep. They're going to feel incomplete, but you're going to have all these new beginnings. You're going to cut through all the bullshit because, like I said, some of you have been through it this year. Okay? And what does not serve you, you're going to release that. Yep. And I said it with the devil card. You are going to release. Look, it's right here. You're going to release it. You don't have time for that. You got shit to do. You are going to be their damn addiction. 
Look in here. Look at the kings here. The king of swords. The king of wands. It's a lot of people here on this deck. The two of wands. These people are going to be so confused. They're going to be like, damn. Um, like, how do I try to control this? I never met somebody like Gemini like this. These king of wands, this king of swords, they're going to be like, I'm telling you. Look at this, the two of cups. Gemini, you basically going to just be like, let me tell you something. Y'all not going to rob me of my happiness. You're going to choose wisely this time, I feel. Yep, and you're going to move away what does not serve you. You're going to choose wisely. I feel like you learned your lesson. You're moving away from, um, let me put this here. You're moving away from like the toxic energy. You know, you have your intuition. You know, you're air sign. So you're just going to move towards what great. You, you, okay, so life is flow. Flow is life. Anything that's not right, look how you're turning your back towards the five of um, swords and the two of cups. You're just going to move away from it if they can't come right. And you're going to have people coming in with slow energy offering you things. Ten of cups. Yeah. You're not going to take... <laughs> You're not going to take anything minute, okay? You're too busy planning, looking overseas, planning your life. You're done with the Ten of Cups being in reverse, okay? So anybody come to you, they got to come correct. You can't come to them. They can't come to you, Gemini, as a Knight of Pentacles. Mm-mm. It's not going to happen. You ready to release? So your cup can overflow with love. You follow your intuitions now. And whatever you feel. Look you got the moon card again. Whatever you feel you're going to go with the flow. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you. Whatever you feel you are going to go with the flow. You're going to move away from it. You're not going to second guess yourself. Where is the freaking six of swords? You're going to move away from it. Anything. Anything that does not serve you right because you're the queen of pentacles. Okay, you're all about your money. You're all about, you know, foundation. You don't have time for no untraditional shit. If you're not going to come correct, don't come at all because you're working hard on your game, Gemini. That's what it is. The nine of pentacles here in reverse. You have had your moment with that. And the tower change, yeah. Because at some point, let me tell you, just put your oracle read, look. At some point, some of you were not stable. And you're on the cycle of changing that and you're working hard. You're probably going back to school. I'm, I'm just feeling from this. You're now throwing yourself into work and whatever happens. When I say work, it could be your job. It, 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 in working on you, your body work. Your job, your mental, whatever. You're throwing yourself into that now. Okay? And you're like, you know, whatever comes, comes. If love comes, it comes. But you meditated and you've seen exactly what it is that you want. And you're just moving forward, Gemini. Okay? So that being said, I am K-Star Moon Life After. Life after. Um, like, share, comment down below. Hit the notification bell so that the next time I post a reading, you are notified. And remember, every ending is a beautiful beginning. And I'll see you next time.